Hey everyone, I'm back with another Zoom Docs video. And I keep saying that Zoom Docs is more than just a word processor. And in a previous video, I did give an example how I'm using it as a Trello alternative. I made a sticky note board for project management. I'll put a link below. But in this video, I want to give more examples of how it supports different types of media and some really powerful tools. So I made a new Zoom Doc just for this video, including a lot of the things that I wanted to show you. And as I was making it, I realized this is really useful. So this turns out to be, it started out being a doc for you, but it's a doc for me. I'm going to be using this after we're done with this video for my business. So I can't wait to show it to you. But first, I have to show you another doc. One of the cool things about Zoom Docs is the way docs kind of relate to each other. You can have docs, sub docs, docs within docs. You can make a wiki. It all makes sense in a minute. So this isn't the main event, but bear with me as I talk through this doc. Let me move myself out of the way. So Neat is a company uh, that I work with. They, uh, they're a partner of Zoom. They make video conferencing hardware for meeting spaces. And I just made a quick page about Neat. I made a header there. This is a web card. If I click it, it goes to their website. And I have links to sub pages for the projects. That's what we're getting into. But by the way, I could do a lot more with this. I could, for example, I could just add in, let's say I wanted to put in a briefing calendar and make that a um, make that a header level, and then I can embed the calendar widget. I'm not going to do it now, but you get the idea. This could be a, a, a really useful page for working with this company. But I want to what I want to show you is the page for uh, one of the projects. And by the way, there's so much customization. I have them as links here, but you can make them into into little cards. So I could have a little card for each each project. It's all personal preference. But let's click in here. So there's a lot of things here. This is, this is what I want to show you. A lot of different things we're doing here. At the top, just a simple text field to explain what the project is. Need had an event. I attended the event. This is a video talking about what I learned about at the event. Uh, the company contact section, uh, the company contact section over here, this is a person widget. I didn't just type my name. There's a drop down. And if I mouse over it, it has information about the person. I, I put myself in there as a placeholder. I'm still playing with this board. I don't want to, uh, with this doc, I don't want to send a bunch of notifications to someone at Neat. But eventually I would have my Neat contacts in there. Now next, okay, this out of everything in, the, in this video, this was my wow moment. This was the, okay, this isn't just for the video. I really have to do this for, for every company I work with now, for every project I work on now the meeting summaries. We talk about the power of meeting summaries and sure, it's nice to have meeting summaries in here, but am I honestly going to take the time to, to go to my web portal and copy the link and paste it here and everything? The whole act of getting the meeting summaries into a doc almost makes it not worth doing until I realized how easy it is. That's the whole point of Zoom, Zoom Workplace, everything together. So I, first of all, I made it a sub page because I don't want the entire meeting summary here. It would be It'd be too much to, it would make everything unmanageable. Sub pages, right? I have a wiki. So let's go into one. And I didn't create it yet because I want to show you how I create it. This is so wild. I click plus the, 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 to add a new thing. And there's a list of all the different things we can add, which I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to show you everything in this video. I'm going to show you some of the cooler ones, but one is meeting summaries. And here are my meeting summaries for the last month. And, and, you know, I might look at them and say, well, I'm not sure which one's which. Okay, if I mouse over one, it comes up. I got to be careful. I don't, don't want to mouse over all of them and show you all my secret stuff. But here's a recent meeting summary. So let's say this was a meeting with Neat talking about the scope of this project. I would click here. And here it is. And if, if I just go back to... And it's still, it's just there. So, so I would have one for each meeting summary, for each meeting I have on this project. And at any time, I can go back and click and look at it, people are going to think I'm a genius. I forget things. I'm going to remember everything that happened in every meeting about every project for now on. So, um, yeah, so the, the meeting summaries as part of this is just, that's what convinced me I have to do this for real. So onto some more, some more media assets that it supports. Uh, this is just an MP4 file. So one thing I've, I struggle with when I'm working on projects is file versions. I send an email with version one. There's an edit. We want to add something. I do a retake. Now there's version two. There's version three. Someone uploads the version two when I'm on version four. Who knows what's going to wind up going live? 
with this, there is one current file version. If I make a change, I will delete this and I will put up the new version. And this is a shareable, it, well, it's shared. Anyone can download it. So if someone from Neat wants to make some clips from it, wants to edit it or whatever, if I want to download it again to a different computer and, and do some edits to it, this is the file and it's viewable. I'm not going to click it, but um, audio and video, I can play it and watch and, and, and listen to it here. This is a great way just to share it with, with clients to get, um, to get their feedback. So this is the actual file. So useful. And now scrolling down, you might say, wait, why do I have the same video twice? This is the YouTube version. It's live now. Once it goes live, it's on YouTube. So if I right click, here's all my YouTube controls. I can get the URL for sharing. If I click watch on YouTube, it opens, uh, it opens it up in YouTube in a browser. So I have all my analytics. So it is, it's not just, it's not just uh, redundant. I need the MP4 file and I need the YouTube version. And guess what else? I need the thumbnail. This is just an image file, a JPEG or a PNG. I don't remember what it is, but it's, it's just an image file. And again, it's shared, not shareable. It is shared because it's here. I can download it uh, for social media at any time. Uh, and here is, I showed you a web card before on the previous page. Here's the web card to the page where it's shared on my website. So we have web pages, we have images, we have videos, we have YouTube and just, you know, now that I'm, I'm just kind of playing around with what I want to do with this page, I'm going to use it. I could have a next step and I can make a, a, a checklist. I didn't, I didn't bother to make it. Now, there's so many other things we could do. Let me click this little plus button. I can't show them all to you, but there's one, if I pick one, there's no question which one it has to be. And that's whiteboards. I'm not sure if I would use a whiteboard for this project in particular, but I'm going to use whiteboards for a lot of things and they're so powerful inside Zoom Docs. So let's add a whiteboard. So here we have our, our basic whiteboard. I can say hi, but I, I did a video a few years ago about Zoom whiteboards because it's not just a whiteboard. It's really powerful. There's a lot you could do with it. And that was before they added AI companion. So I could say, um, let's say I want a mind map for, um, producing a YouTube video. Let's see what AI companion gives me. Look at that. It's a whole thing here. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right. I'm not going to get into it now, but obviously AI companion generates things for you to work with. And once I close this, it is, it is here and it's usable inside the zoom doc. So anyone I share this zoom doc with can be using this whiteboard and it's a live whiteboard. If, if my team, if I share this with my team and they were in a zoom meeting that I'm not attending right now, and they were making changes to it, we'd be seeing the changes as we're looking at the zoom doc here. It's all, it's all integrated. So I really need to show you what this looks like from inside zoom. But one thing I want to show you first is that all of this is on mobile. There's nothing special you have to do to get this on mobile, just get the Zoom app, log in, and you can access these docs, including and everything works. The videos play, everything's downloadable, everything's already shared, even, um, even the whiteboard actually works. So it, it's all on mobile. But let's head over to a Zoom meeting so I could show you how to share this within a Zoom meeting. Okay, here we are inside Zoom. May look familiar. We have our, our buttons on the bottom. And I know some of you were thinking, you know, what am I even showing you? You know what to do here, right? The green share button, share your screen, have zoom docs on the other screen and share it. No, it's so much better than that. There is, where is it? A docs button. And if I click on it, it opens up all of my zoom docs. So let me bring up that one and I can open it for myself or share it. I'm going to do the shared version now. And here it is. And anyone that is in this meeting with me would have full access so they can download any of the files. They could click, they could play, they could, um, they could play the videos. They can, they can add sections. They can add comments. They can work on this document. It's all live for anyone in the meeting. And actually, as long as we're here, let me show you one, one other trick I just thought of. I'm going to bring up docs and I'm going to do the neat company doc, but I'm only going to open it for myself. So what happens now, let me drag this over to make it a little bigger. 
if I was in a meeting, I would be the only one who saw this. So if I had a bunch of notes about NEAT while I was meeting with them, I could just mention things and they'll think I'm a genius. So this is, <laughs> I, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying this is going to completely like replace HubSpot or Salesforce or whatever, but it could be a good supplement. Um, Oh man, I, I'm, I'm like, as I'm recording this video for you, I'm thinking of more and more things I can use Zoom Docs for. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know in the comments what you're using Zoom Docs for. I feel like we're just kind of scratching the surface here. And of course, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care.